Hi, so I'm here to tell you how I passed my NASM uh, certification. So uh, this is the information. So I took it yesterday um, on the uh, 20th of uh, February and today is the 21st. So uh, I don't have the actual uh, certification yet. They shall print it, um, I mean, four to six weeks from now. Okay. So I thought I show you guys uh, this one. This is the seventh edition uh, for personal training, NASM. Uh, now I'm about to tell you guys how I studied for it and uh, what made me uh, pass the test. Now, here I am. Let me just plug this and then we'll carry on. Just give me. All right, guys. So uh, here we are. Like I said, uh, this is. Uh, I mean, I, I did pass the Vanazam uh, personal training certification, the seventh edition, and uh, I'm here to tell you guys uh, exactly how I passed the test. So um, I took the uh, um, I took the in person examination, uh, whereby you have to go to a center, a PSI center, and uh, you're monitored, and uh, it's just a testing center. You know, there's a bunch of people that comes there for for different uh, standardized testing. So therefore, I went in there, and uh, the test is a two hour. You know, uh, you need to arrive 30 minutes before you start and uh, um, so that the formalities can take place when you do arrive, they will ask you for your uh, ID and your uh, CPR card and AED, not just a simple CPR card, make sure you get this information, a CPR card and an AED, okay? Uh, you present that to the whoever is there and then they will... Um, you know, take you in for the test, and uh, the test is two hours. It's, it can be very draining, very draining, okay? So before you go in there, make sure that you are well awake. Uh, do your the right preparations. Don't, I mean, make sure you have some uh, good night's sleep because you'll be sitting there for a while. And um, so, how did I study for the test? So, um, and studying for the test, you know, I, I did a self-study, the online study, whereby uh, I, I have to teach myself uh, based on the information that was provided to me. Uh, the test book is given to you online if you don't want the hard copy. The hard copy is expensive, so therefore, so the bundle that I purchased, uh, it came with uh, the test book, the online test book, the online quizzes, and the practice test, okay? So uh, what I did is I, I first of all I went through each section. It has six sections, and within those sections there are chapters. Okay, so every section have an allocated amount of chapters. So um, what I did is I went uh, chapter by chapter uh, by section. So um, I, I I did an overview. I just read it once, uh, just an overview to to get a grasp of what uh, all these are about the chapters. Um, I skimmed through it and then I did a second reading whereby I was reading for comprehension. So I did my comprehension reading and uh, within those readings uh, there are videos embedded in those uh, readings, I mean those sections, sorry, or chapters. So I made sure that I paid attention to uh, every, every um, video within those chapters and uh, um, I mean uh, and the videos are very helpful. Those videos are just a summary of the chapter that you, you read. So therefore, for me, I, I feel as if it's important because uh, within uh, some of those videos, uh, based on the chapter, they have demonstrations of the workout that is being performed. So I am a visual learner, so uh, it helps a lot to visualize, you know, how this workout is performed, even though I do know how those workouts are performed, but sometimes it just helps to visualize it. Someone else is presenting you the information you just read into, you know, a visual form and auditory form as well. So I, 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 I read the whole chapter, the videos, uh, I read the summary at the end of each chapter. I did that for the whole uh, section, the sixth section. So this, uh, it has uh, 20, 22 chapters, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think the, the book is comprised of 22 chapters 
and uh, they are very detailed they are very detailed chapters okay it's a whole lot it's a whole lot uh it took me um i would say i got really serious uh you know within three months okay i got super serious because i am very busy i have things to do so therefore uh, i was just really screaming through things but when i really uh, decided to see with this um it took me uh three months you you can do it you know before three months depending on how much time you have on your hand to study differently but uh my advice to you is that to pay attention to those videos those videos are going to help you the summary at the end of each chapter will definitely help and within uh the chapters they are quizzes those quizzes will help will help you they are very important and make sure you understand those quizzes okay so uh that that really helped and uh, the one of the most important thing that really helped me was uh, the 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 practice test the practice test i'm telling you is within it's within uh, the bundle so you have a practice test that's allocated for each section so if it's section one there is a practice test for section one and uh, the practice test is comprised of um 50 questions at the time so those within those 50 questions what i did is uh, i sat down after i read the, the whole chapter and the videos and the summaries i wanted to uh, practice what i have learned to make sure that how much how much of what i have learned i have returned so um i i challenged myself by sitting down and practicing uh is is questions so i took the practice test sometimes i passed sometimes i fell and uh, when i i do fail what i did is that i paid attention to the question that i got wrong so each question that i got wrong i uh, i screenshot those questions uh create a word a word document and uh, just uh save those uh, wrong questions because i wanted to find out why did i get this question wrong so um i did that for each uh a section with each uh, practice question so i i i i managed to have more than um more than 100 questions you know i mean if i get it wrong or I, I did not understand why i got this question right even if i get a question right but if i doubt myself and say mm, i wasn't sure i really guess then i'm interested in those uh questions i want to know why i got it i got it right or why i got it wrong especially the one that i got wrong so uh, i went and uh, did that so what i did with those wrong questions I went back to each chapter with the questions that I got wrong and read the chapter again. I read it over and tried to find out the answer to that question inside of the, the, the book, okay? The chapter of the book. So I did it for each question that I got wrong. So I went back because by going back to the, to the book and finding out why you got it wrong, you're going to read. And the, when you do that, the fact that you're reading that portions, you understand it just you know amplifies like oh this is why i got this wrong so you are now focused you want to know exactly why and by reading through that you are just doing yourself a favor in your learning and for me that's the best way okay that's the, the best way and that's helped me a lot if i did not do that i don't think i would have passed because there is a difference between reading and understanding and then taking uh, i mean uh, answering questions when the question is presented to you, just because you read the chapter and you understood it, you are not challenged to the, um, like you, I mean, you will not challenge yourself. You, I mean, your understanding is not challenged until you pass those questions, until you get those questions right. So, because by, by taking the questions, you, you will understand that, oh, I thought I understood the, question, the chapter, but I really didn't. You will come to a realization that just the chapter you read, you really didn't get an understanding because you're failing all the practice questions. So pay attention to the failed practice questions, generate them into a word document, go back to the chapters and read it. That's one of my tips. That's one of the biggest tips, okay? And uh, after I, I did a summary of all that, there is a practice test that is going to give you stimulation of the actual exam. But um, those practice tests are 100 questions. Remember, the actual exams is 120 questions, two hours. 120 questions for two hours. But the stimulated practice test that uh, is given to you is 100 questions for two hours. 
I don't know why did it not give you 120 questions just like the real test but for me I feel as if that is not that's misleading if you are giving me 100 questions of practice and you say it was a stimulation of the actual exam and the actual exam is 120 then you might be at risk of running late because you have been practicing with 100 questions for two hours instead of 120 you know it makes a huge difference so this this I was I mean this part was disappointing to me I'm like, damn, they should have just given me the 20 questions to practice with Shaq and, uh, um, you know, uh, practice well with time. I finished uh, 18 minutes early, okay? I wasn't there for the whole two hours. 18 minutes wasn't bad because I took my time. Uh, so, practice those is going to help you a lot, a lot. So, um, pay attention to those. In terms of the test, uh, what did I find challenging was, um, I thought, Actually, with time management, even though I finished early, I was a little bit worried about running uh, behind because the practice test that they gave me, uh, in I mean, the practice test that I was taking was only 100 questions. So that was one of my worries, but I finished 18 minutes early. Uh, did I see questions that uh, were in the practice test with, inside of the real test? I saw similar questions, but not exact wording or exact questionnaire. No. But if you if you really practice those questions and you understood them, it's not about getting the answers right. It's understanding why you got those answers right. It's going to help you face the real test because no matter how much they're going to word it, you understood the, the chapter and the questions. You're going to get it right. You know they can because the, the wording was really well a little bit different. The wording was different. Okay, within the real test, I felt I felt as if they were trying to, you know, really really challenge you. And see how much you know or how much you did in class so uh, pay attention to the wording but uh, overall uh, I'm not here to say that it was easy I want to say that uh, make sure uh, that you understand what you I mean you read in the book it's going to play a huge role in those videos especially the exercises um, videos where people you, you need to pay attention to the stuff and I see if maybe more than 40 questions came uh, asking about uh, those uh, exercises, you know, what to say, how to position yourself, what do you say when someone is trying to perform this exercise as a personal trainer, and also in terms of uh, the business aspect, the business questions were maybe 15 or more questions, uh, talking about professionalism, uh, code, uh, personal training code, you know, um, you need to really pay attention to those because uh, you don't want to go outside of your, your scope of practice, okay? So pay attention to scope of practice, pay attention to how exercises are performed, and uh, uh, what else? I'm trying to think. I just took it yesterday, so my memory is super fresh. That's why I decided to do this video uh, tonight, instead of waiting for uh, four weeks when I get my, my certificate, just to show you guys. No, the information, the pattern information is now, because my memory is fresh. So, um, pay attention to those and uh, 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 also pay attention to uh, some nutritional questions. Pay very close attention to those. Those were, they can be very tricky because they're trying to, to trick you in, to make sure that you know your vitamins, okay? And pay attention to those. The vitamins, the, yeah, attention to that. And uh, pay attention to, um, the um, how you call it the form you know like overhead squat uh, the positioning the different positioning of 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 the of the client you know that you are training the way to position their body doing this workout I feel as if more than forty questions came from that for me yeah yeah you better pay attention to those you need to know about uh, the overactive underactive muscle body parts you know the positioning. When someone has an overactive muscle, which one is weaker when they're performing this exercise, which muscle group is weak, which muscle group is overactive. You need to know that. I'm telling you, I think if I'm not exaggerating, I might have four questions just from those. Because they really want to make sure that you know what you want. You know those assessments. Pay attention to the assessment. The assessments questions came like water, the fell on me. Okay? Make sure you master that and you come back and thank me. The assessment questions, the business aspect, okay? Your business aspect, uh, professionalism, um, personal training, uh, scope of practice, stay with your scope of practice. Any question you see like that, pay attention to it. 
okay what to say what not to say to a client when they ask you weird question like hey this part is hurting what do you do when they turn you down or oh, if they're not motivated okay yeah just shut it down okay i don't want to give you guys these questions because um i don't want them to come for me i just want to give you guys a broad uh questionnaire and an ideas and which you really have to pay attention to well that being said uh like i say uh focus um drink a lot more don't drink a lot of water <laughs> what the heck focus on the questionnaire focus on the book focus on the videos and the practice questions if you get it right focus on it if you get it right by guessing focus on it and find out what you got it right if you get it wrong generate it into a, I mean, a word you can make and to focus on it i know you get it if i can do it believe me in america we say if i can do it you can do it so therefore you can definitely do this it's not impossible that being said come back to me and tell me you know your stories if uh, what i gave you was helpful let me okay here we go Ooh, ooh, we did it. Bye.